What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Gemini. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I'm just burning the sage real quick. Okay, period. Okay, Gemini, we're going to tap in and see what is going on here. Okay. All right, Gemini. First card I got out for you, it says a time for healing, the balsamic moon. Uh, and I heard that that full moon, that last full moon that we just had on November 27th or November 28th, uh, I feel like that that moon really had an impact on you guys. Because I do believe the full moon was in Gemini, wasn't it? The beaver full moon in Gemini or something like that. But yeah, I'm I'm really feeling like Gemini, you were the one of the signs really impacted by that particular moon. Um, but yeah, a time for healing. So um, that full moon could have brought up uh, emotions, some of your emotions to the surface, Gemini. Something that you still need to heal from or deal with. Um, I feel like some of you Geminis have came to the realization that something's just not going to work out with somebody here. Like, it's not going to work out. They're not coming back. They're not going to change. Like, so it's just time to, like, move on. But this card can indicate, like, trying to move on without healing. Or some of you, maybe you already did this. You can be involved with somebody new. And it's just like emotions are resurfacing from your past person that you haven't healed from this is like trying to move on to to quit trying to put band-aids over bullet wounds and shit so somebody out here needs to heal like real shit before they just move on to the next thing or the next person or whatever um yeah it's like this is like giving yourself grace giving yourself more time to get over something instead of trying to rush your healing process also her um also heard Pisces like real loud when I was channeling y'all's energy. So I'm like Pisces. But some of y'all can be dealing with a Pisces or this the Pisces is who you're trying to heal from or vice versa. Pisces could be trying to heal from you. Let's see. What's the message for Gemini? trash out here discarding and throwing out so yeah somebody like i said somebody could be like just like i'm done with somebody like you can go type shit like just throwing somebody away discarding of somebody just getting rid of someone like just go yeah look at that fed up yeah this could be you gemini or this could be somebody else like somebody's like fed up with someone it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like that full moon could have brought something to a head to where somebody's just like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> like, real shit. Yeah, queen rising. Yeah, because somebody knows their worth. Or, or you feel like somebody's discarding you, queen, queen rising. For some of you, you could be in a lesbian relationship. For some of you, Gemini's. Because it's two women out here. We got fed up in queen rising. So, I don't know. Somebody feels like they're being thrown away out here or discarded of or. Yeah, they, we got, they lost their chance or you did. So, yeah, you can know your worth out here. You know what I'm saying? And you're just tired. You're tired of feeling frustrated. You're tired of feeling overwhelmed. Tired of feeling fed the fuck up with somebody. And you're just like remembering who the fuck you are. Or like I said, it's just like you're taking your power back from somebody, but it's almost like Gemini, don't forget to heal, though. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Like, you know, you're like, okay, fuck it. Sh ain't shit popping over here with this person or nothing is going to come of this, whatever. But it's just like you also have to heal from the disappointment. 
Some of you can have Virgo in your chart. Or this could be a Virgo. Yeah, we got crying over you, sad, hurt, and upset. It's like, yeah, somebody's sad because they lost you. Like, real shit. But I feel like you were tired of this person, like, plaguing your energy, making you feel upset. You know, like, fucking with your emotions and shit. It's just like you just, yeah, look at that. Rejected. Somebody feels rejected by you. Yeah, we got ego. Yeah. It's like you're tired of arguing with somebody. Tired of not getting along. Tired of fighting. All this type of shit. It says ego. Her ego getting in the way of a relationship. Yeah, pretending, faking, living beyond means. Projected future months, weeks, or days. Anchored. Let's see. Same shit, different day, alien. Yeah, so, I mean, for some of you, you may end up taking this person back. Like, you may be saying that you're done with somebody for right now. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody's, like, pride and ego in a way of, like, trying to repair something, trying to heal from something. It's just, like, every time you take this person back, it's just the same shit. I really shit. And I feel like now you're just done, but you need to heal. Yeah, we got divine masculine on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, irreconcilable differences. Yeah, some of you may be getting a divorce. Yeah, it's just like you just like there's like a breakdown of a relationship here because somebody just refused to come out of their ego. Just like it's nothing that I mean, like I feel like you tried, Gemini. You just I don't know. But now this person wants to cry. This is like somebody who does a bunch of like stupid shit and then when you finally go off on their ass, then they want to cry and play victim and all that. And I feel like you're just over it. You're over this person playing victim, you're over this person like keep doing stupid shit. health yeah somebody could be in the hospital somebody could like not be doing well somebody could be bedridden somebody could be sick yeah because number 31 31 breaks down to a four this is like four swords energy so somebody could be like hospitalized or bedridden or sick or something here or like i said somebody could be affecting your health like this person could like be disturbing like your mental peace or some shit here, Gemini. Yeah, um, courthouse. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, five. The twenty-three breaks down to a five. Five fives represent change. So yeah, this could be you divorcing this person, or somebody's like in bad health because somebody wants to get a divorce, or there's like a karmic contract that's up. Like there's been a lesson learned here. It's just like okay, like I'm over this. Yeah, somebody could be getting some bad news in regards to their health though. With the courthouse and the four of swords, yeah. Somebody keeps thinking about you. Thoughts card. Like number 16 breaks down to a seven. So for some of you, you have this person blocked. But it's like they keep trying to connect with you telepathically. They keep trying to like tap into your energy and shit. We have a false person. Yeah, I feel like this person was with a karmic or they were getting manipulated by a karmic feminine energy. It's like, these people just need to just fucking get help. It's just like, why do you, it's like, people just, yeah, look at that shadow. Somebody needs to do their shadow work. It's like, this shit just don't make no sense. Yeah, somebody's a narc. Yeah, it's like you're tired of somebody manipulating you, tricking you, playing games and shit. Or this could be your ass. To be a Virgo. Yeah. 
it's like it's like you you need to finally just heal from this person gemini like once and for all and just never look back it's just like fuck this person <laughs> like real shit for some of you like maybe getting a divorce from this person is like like the last step that you need before you can completely finish healing from this person because what's the messages for gemini Yeah, we got Fero out here. So somebody can have like a really bad attitude or be acting like a bitch out here. Like real shit. <laughs> I swear I can't make this up. I said somebody may be acting like a bitch out here then the bitch card came out. <laughs> yeah, so somebody out here is a feminine energy out here saying something or... It's like she's spewing negativity or it's shit that she's saying is coming from the from a hurt place because this bitch card got three of swords on there. So this could be somebody who's heartbroken or this could be somebody who's like bitter and they're on the I hate men or I hate women hate train because like they've gotten their heart broken or their feelings hurt. It's like somebody needs to heal from this heartbreaking, this pain and this trauma that somebody caused. Like real shit. So somebody out here can have like a real bad attitude. That could be you, Gemini. Like real shit. Somebody can have like they're just like they're just like they don't believe in love anymore because they got hurt by this one person. But like everybody is not the same. But you have to heal in order to, um, in order to elevate in in order to raise your frequency so you can attract somebody who's not on this type of energetic level. You know what I'm saying? Because if you keep with, with this bitch energy and just saying oh niggas ain't shit or fuck bitches get money and all this weird ass shit like like no love still exists but you have to heal in order to manifest it okay like love is definitely not coming if you're sitting up here talking about oh niggas ain't shit bitches ain't shit da 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 like that's just not how it works That's what I'm saying. It's like somebody's like taking their power back in the situation, but they're not healing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, they're single now or they're broken up or they're moving on from somebody, but they're still in this hurt place. They're heartbroken because something here didn't work out because somebody lied or put them in a third party or betrayed them or something here. But you just can't be walking around with an attitude because of that. Yeah, look, told you podcast. It's like somebody could be like on social media saying this shit. Like, fuck niggas. Uh, fuck men. Fuck women. You know what I'm saying? Bitches ain't shit. Love don't exist. You know how motherfuckers be on social media and shit. Just all mad and just upset and shit. Because something, one person, it shit didn't work out with one person. Now they hate everybody. Like, that's somebody out here or they can even have a podcast and they be preaching this bullshit like <laughs> or they could just be saying like ignorant shit it's just like it's like you can tell somebody's hurt by the shit that they be saying it's just like whoa who broke that bitch heart you know what i'm saying or who broke that dude heart you know what i'm saying it's like somebody can tell just somebody yeah the oracle mm -hmm. I mean, somebody could have told you something about this person or people were telling you about this person, Gemini, or like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like people were telling you something about this person is right, but I feel like you were questioning your intuition. You didn't want to believe that it, it, shit wasn't going to work out with this person because the Oracle card, this is like when, when your third eye is open and you're reading somebody correctly, but it's just like your second and third guessing your intuition. So for a lot of you, it's like it took you a while to really see this person for who they were. It's like you didn't want to believe it. You're just like, oh, no, I can help them. I can fix them. I can save them. But in the end, you weren't able to. Yeah, look at that shadow. Somebody needs to do their shadow work and get out of this negative ass energy. Yeah, self-care. Like some of you Geminis, you're definitely attractive. You're fine looking, but it's like you need to do the work. Shadow, like I feel like this is you. You need to do your work on yourself and you need to get out of this bitter ass energy. Like, <laughs> You could be mad because this person went back to a karmic or somebody from their past and shit. 
but it's just like i don't know this person whoever this person is they could suffer from like stockholm syndrome i don't know why i'm getting it you know a stockholm syndrome or somebody who's been abused for a really long time so all they know is that abusive ass energy it's like somebody out here it's like they don't know how to be in a healthy relationship unless they're getting abused so it's like they reject what's healthy for them and they go back to what's not good for them because they're addicted to they're addicted to the abuse mental emotional or physical it's like this person doesn't understand love unless they're being beat on or attacked or cursed out you know it's just like that weird shit but i feel like you need to do the work on yourself gemini i feel like you still i don't know why spirit is strongly saying that this is you like i feel like you're, you're aware of your worth like real shit queen rising like you know who you are you're confident you took your power back from this person you know you're 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 attractive you can have anybody that you want but it's this attitude that needs to be fixed like you can't just walk around with this stank ass attitude or just saying shit coming from this hurt ass place and then think you're supposed to meet somebody like nobody wants to deal with nobody raggedy ass attitude Let's see, Gemini. I feel like you're coming to your senses. Like either you are or somebody is about you. So let's see. What's the message here? It's like you and this person just can't even get along. Her ego. It's like you can't even talk to this person without arguing, without fighting, without it turning intense and shit. It's because it's somebody's ego out of control. They don't know how to take constructive criticism. They don't want to hear what they're doing wrong or what their mistakes are or how they can improve. It's like they get offended by that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... So pretty girl, nasty ass attitude, but it doesn't work like that. Yeah, look at that Eminem. Yeah, some of you can be dealing with a Libra. This is wordsmith. Hello, my name is unmatched, empty without me, shady. I just don't give a fuck. Anger, outsider. So I feel like this person's upset with you. This could even be somebody with like a criminal history or something. But very childish, very immature. This could be somebody that ghosted you with the Eminem card. For some of you, some of you Gemini's, you could be in an interracial relationship or interracial relationship. I think I said that right. Interracial relationship. So this could be like a white man or a white woman. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm picking up on that. I'm just looking at the cards. <laughs> it is. So some of you this could be an interracial relationship, Gemini. Yeah, Jay Z. We got a Sagittarius out here. And this could be like, like Gemini. This could be like a co collection of people who didn't hurt you. Cause we got two men out here. So you could have been disappointed by a Libra or a Sagittarius, or you've been heartbroken by both of these people. It says like the song cry collaboration. For some of you, you could have been married to this Sagittarius. So some of you, um, some of you Gemini's are like divorcees. Like you've been married before, but it didn't work out. So now you're like divorced. Um, but yeah, Jay Z, excuse me, Miss New Me, Mogul. Yeah, bad boys. Then we got Aries, heavy Libra out here because Will Smith is a Libra and we got Eminem out here. He's a Libra. So we got Aries, Sagittarius, and Libra. Yeah, it says bad boys ride or die together, protect and serve. Somebody could be a police officer out here. <sighs> Somebody can have like a raggedy ass homeboy that's like feeding them this bullshit too. So somebody, somebody could be getting bad advice from like a homeboy or a friend or something. It'd be a Gemini male getting like bad advice from a Sagittarius or a Libra. Did you see that? Or somebody could have been listening to somebody, getting advice from somebody in regards to y'all relationship, Gemini, and then it sabotaged some shit or fucked some shit up. 
Because it says bad boys. It says ride or die together, besties. So, yeah, this could be some type of bromance. You got a homeboy who is like a hater. For, it's a Gemini man who got a homeboy for a hater. <laughs> Real shit. It could be a Sagittarius or, or a Libra man that's like hating on a Gemini man or an Aries. So if you're a Gemini man, like you could be at a point in your life where you're ready to settle down and shit. Cause this is title and contracts, retirement, you know, new me, like businessman, like you're focusing on your future. And it's just like, okay, I'm ready to find me somebody to settle down with. You got a homeboy out here in this wordsmith energy that's just they're shady. They're jealous. They're got a they have an anger issue or they're bitter about relationships. So it's like they find it offensive that you want to settle down. Or it's like they're scared that if you settle down that y'all won't be best friends anymore or something here. It's like a weird ass bromance bromance out here with a um um a masculine energy. Well, like I said, if you like you could feel this way about this person, like Gemini, you could feel like this person that that you wanted to make things work with, they got some type of like homeboy or somebody that's influencing them in some type of way or something. Yeah, poetic justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you. Because I feel like this is you. Gemini says, love is a juice, toxic friends, trauma. Yeah, it's like you need to heal from your trauma, like real shit. Because I feel like you just feel like love isn't playing fair right now. And then we got a, a karmic feminine. See you looking at this karmic feminine. It could be an Aries female that you're looking at. But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you're trying to blame this karmic feminine. Or you're like, you're looking at her like, bitch, you're responsible for ruining my relationship. So I don't know if your person cheated or what. But you could be looking at this karmic fem like, bitch, you're responsible for why my relationship didn't work out. 222 on the timer. But everybody has free will gemini so even if your person did cheat it's just like your person had to open the door in order for that shit to happen you know what i'm saying they didn't get they didn't get raped hopefully like they didn't get raped they weren't forced against their will to fuck with this bitch they chose to do that shit it was a conscious decision made on your person's behalf so even though you may be looking at this bitch like you a home wrecker blah 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 i mean Maybe she is, but she can't wreck a home unless she was invited in. So, I don't know. You may be, it could be misplaced anger out here. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, it says hurt and pain. Like, yeah, I feel like somebody needs to heal from something out here. Something is not working out. Or it's just like ever since this person cheated, it's just been like ego and trust issues and arguing and not getting along and shit. Or some of you, you try to reconcile with this person or take this person back and it's just the same shit. Like over and over and over. Like, well, let's see, Gemini, what's the message you? I told you, like, somebody has an attitude out here. Like, real shit. Because somebody chose to be with this karmic film or because a karmic film, they feel like it's responsible for ruining their relationship with this person. up on some Gemini men that are either like police officers or they can be entrepreneurs. They own their own business or maybe they work in security or something. I feel like you have an older man that's like interested in you too, Gemini, but I feel like you're not interested in this person. It's like somebody's trying to get your attention and you're just like, nope, I'm too good for you. Nope, no. Nope. Like, it's like you don't want to give somebody the time of day. But I feel like that shit is coming from a hurt place. It's like you're scared to get close to people again because you got your heart broken before. I mean, but we all have. Like It is possible to heal from that and move on and attract somebody better. Everybody is not the same. But you have to do the work. You have to 
address what the fuck is bothering you, what's causing you this hurt and this pain. You have to acknowledge it. You have to admit it. You have to accept it. You have to feel it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Like, real shit. Happens to the best of us, Bookie but. I just feel like you don't want to give nobody a chance, Gemini, all because of this one person. Like, the fuck? Let's see. What's going on here, Gemini? Or there could be a Taurus female out here that's mad at a Gemini man. justice here yeah see i feel like karmic justice is out here some of y'all told you libra energy heavy but like the justice card is out here something's being made right something's being made fair because something was unfair that's why i said somebody was like done wrong in order for the justice card to come out in the upright it's like the universe had to step in and balance something out because something was unfair to you gemini or something was unfair to somebody or I'm feeling like a lot of people got hurt in the process of whatever the fuck this is. But just this year, there could be a divorce out here for some of you. There's a car. There has been a lesson learned. There's a karmic. It's times up on a karmic contract here. It's like it's over. It's no fixing this. However, the cards fail is how the fuck it is. Yeah, King of Cups, Pisces energy. I don't know why I said Pisces, but Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, so there could be a celebration here. Or like I said, the three of cups is like somebody wanting to reconcile with you. Somebody want to hang out with you. Somebody want to ask you out on a date. I feel like there's there's an emotionally mature man out here that may be interested in you. But I just, I don't know, Gemini. I don't know if you're interested in this king of cups. It could be a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You're just not interested. Like I said, the, the justice card showed up in the past. So for some of you, you could be a divorcee or you need to get divorced. And I just feel like you're just like, no, like I don't want to date anybody after that horrendous marriage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I finally got out of this shit and I learned my lesson and I'm just not interested in dating somebody. Like, or, you know what I'm saying? Or it's just this person or something about this person that you don't like is what I'm getting. I don't know. I mean, it seems like a nice person. King of Cups. That's somebody who's emotionally mature, somebody who is um, sweet, kind, loving, romantic, chivalrous. And they may want to actually want to date with the Three of Cups, but like, or they want to hang out with you or something here. Or they're asking you out for a drink. And I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody's money could be funny out here or somebody's like... I mean, some of you could be getting married, though. You could be engaged to somebody. The Justice, the King of Cups, and the Three of Cups. That could be like a celebration, like an engagement party. Or it's just like whatever it is, it's Three of Cups. It's just something very casual. You know what I'm saying? It's not that it's not that deep right now. You know what I'm saying? Two of Pentacles reverse. We'll check that Two of Pentacles out reverse in a minute. Let's see. Why is the Justice card here? Yeah, the chariot reverse cancer energy. Some of you could be having car trouble right now, Gemini. Or some of you don't have a car. Maybe you're trying to save up for one or this person doesn't have one. Yeah, I just feel like the chariot reverse, something here just went too far. It got out of control. It's like it's no way that you could like gain, regain control of this. You can't fix it. You can't like something here just went too far or it lacked direction like this person just could never tell you where you're headed, where you're going, what are we doing here. It's just like there is just a lack of direction. Like, what, what are we doing? This just seems like it's just wasting fucking time. Why is the chariot reversed?
Yeah, temperance. Heavy on a Sagittarius energy. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to reconcile something or heal something with you, but it's like they still can't tell you where this shit is going or what's next or what's going to come. Like, it's just like weird. Why is the temperance here? Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, this could be some type of twin flame connection with the four wands and the temperance. Some of you, this could definitely be a Sagittarius or some somebody is like, somebody is thinking about reconciling or healing something with somebody that they used to be married to. Or this is you. It's like you're content. Like temperance with the four wands. Maybe you're just at home chilling and you're minding your business and you're just trying to like move on from this person. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords is like a betrayal. It's like rock bottom. It's just like... But it's like you could have broke up with somebody, Gemini, because they didn't want anything serious or they couldn't tell you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like maybe you just had questions about somebody. Like, what are we doing here? Like, where is this going? And I feel like they couldn't give you an answer. And then I feel like you decided to move on like from this person or break up or whatever the fuck. And then they get into a relationship with somebody else or marry somebody else. And then you're just like, Ten of Swords, like, what the fuck? Like, you told me that you didn't want a relationship or you didn't want to get married or you could just couldn't give me an answer about what we, what we were doing. But then you go get in a relationship and you marry somebody else. It's like, yeah, somebody's like hurt behind that. Ten of Swords. I feel like somebody did that to you. It's just like, you know, you just, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know, like, or it's like this person, like, you could have had a, a conversation with this person about, like, what are we doing? Where are we going here? Or whatever. And they couldn't really give you an answer. Then next thing you know, they didn't reconcile and got back into a relationship with somebody from their past. It's like, what? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, and they may have, like, really hurt your feelings, Gemini, or you did this. And it cost somebody the ten of swords, but it's just like you can't really trust when you be seeing shit like that. Cause like you never know what the real motive is for somebody like just getting back with somebody out of nowhere or just ending up in a relationship out of nowhere after they tell you that they don't want to be with you or they can't give you an answer about what y'all doing. Like you never know what somebody's motivation is. Could be money, you know, bitch could be weaker or or you know what I'm saying, not to say you weak, Gemini, but I'm just saying like it could be a bitch with lower standards than you. So it's just like you know, a bitch that doesn't require much of them. So it's just like, yeah, I can commit to her because she don't want me to do that much. Maybe your standards were too high or, you know, you want you had too much expectation for this person that they were unable to meet. But I feel like somebody feels very, like somebody feels straight betrayed. Like they were done wrong. Like this lesson was too harsh with the uh, justice and the Ten of Swords. It's like I had to get a divorce and all this other shit. And it's just like, you know, Ten of Swords, like, woof. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, not a cup. Somebody could want to apologize. A water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm telling you, somebody wants to ask you out on a date. I feel like, but I don't know. Not a cup. Or this is a romantic gesture, like somebody may buy you a drink while you're out or something. Oh, there's a knight of cups here.
Yeah, four of cups, but you're not interested. Look at this shit. Knight of cups and then the four of cups. You're just like, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Like, because you keep focusing on these three cups. Like, look at this offer. It's literally, somebody's literally, like, putting this in your face, this cup. You got the cup right here, and there's the cup right there. And somebody's literally, like, making you an offer, or they're making a sweet gesture, where somebody's trying to apologize to you, Gemini, and you're just like, I don't want to fucking hear it for for four of cups you're disinterested you're nonchalant it's like you're melancholy it's like nothing just gets you excited nothing impresses you it's just like a resting bitch face like four of cups it's like you keep tripping off of this three of cups this third party that somebody put you in it's like you need to quit focusing on that okay that's the three of cups i mean that's the four of cups here it's like the four of cups is also an ungrateful energy too. It's like because something didn't work out here. It's like you're not interested in no, nothing and no one else. It's like you feel like everybody is the same. Everybody has the same cup. But it's just like you need to quit thinking like that because you never know what God has in store for you. You know what I'm saying? You have to like stay excited, stay open hearted about the possibilities because it can happen. You know what I'm saying? But if you're in this pessimistic ass energy, melancholy, just disinterested, bored, this is like you just at home, not wanting to be bothered and shit. Why oh, is the four cups here? It's like same shit, different day. We have six of pentacles here. That's the six of pentacles here. Yeah, a tower card right here. Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody may like want to apologize or make amends with you or something. But I just feel like you're not trying to hear that shit. <laughs> like there could be a Scorpio break coming crumbing you. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. Yeah, you could have been dealing with uh, um King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like this King of Wands. I feel like there was some type of tower moment with this King of Wands. I don't know what this the tower moment was between you and this person in the past. It feels a little embarrassing because with that Six of Pentacles, I feel like you were getting breadcrumbed by somebody. In the King of Wands reverse, he's definitely a liar, a cheater. Um, King of Wands reverse can be like hood, hood nigga, city boy, um, motherfucker who likes to be outside, somebody who needs a lot of validation, a lot of attention. I mean, the King of Wands reverse, he is very attractive, but it's just like they just need too much attention, and they're a cheater. Like real shit, King of Wands reverse is like they're really insecure and they're loud. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's a cheater. Where they were. Lots of King of Cups here. Oh, yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, there's a King of Cups out here, but I mean, they could have other options with the Seven of Cups. They could be dating. You know what I'm saying? Or they could be fantasizing about you. Once the seven of cups here, this this king of cups can have a lot of options. I feel like there's a man out here like actively looking for like a woman. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's looking for somebody to settle down with. And I feel like you, this person may be interested in you, but I feel like you're not giving this person the time of day, Gemini, because you're still tripping off of this king of wands reverse. Or you're still heartbroken about what this King of Wands reverse did. Somebody who looks good, somebody fine as hell, and they got good sex, but they just ain't shit. They're a cheater. Yeah, 
an attention whore. But it's just ghetto and like distasteful. Like I have a seven of cups here. Yeah, ace of cups. I'm telling there's an offer out here. Like real shit. Seven of Cups with the Ace of Cups. It is a King of Cups out here. An emotionally mature man who is looking for the one. He could be online dating with the Seven of Cups. And I feel like he's interested in you. Ace of Cups. But I, I just feel like you're not paying attention to this man and his cup. Like, Gemini, what are you doing? Okay. This could be a Cancer of Pisces or a Scorpio. Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups is new love. So be mindful of the offers that you're rejecting, Gemini, because I feel like something out here could be the real deal. This could be the new, the new love that you were looking for. Or like I said, maybe this offer did come come in. You could have moved on with this King of Cups already or whatever, and this person's like falling in love with you or something, and you just don't feel the same. <laughs> like because you're still over here worried about this fucking king of wands. The way shit didn't work out with. That's the ace of cups here. These cars, yeah, sun car here. Yeah, something is something has been exposed or something has came to the light. Like real shit, it's a sun car here. Yeah, the hang man. There's been some type of like realization about a Pisces or a Leo. Why the sun car and the hang man here? Yeah, six of wands. Leo energy, yeah, high priestess out here, yeah. So you, it's it's somebody around you who's who's woke and enlightened. Somebody who's a high priestess, a psychic, or a reader. This person could be a this could be a Leo female. We got the sun, the high priest, or this could be a Pisces female because we got the sun and the six of wands, and then we got the hangman and the high priestess. So this could be a a Pisces female or 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 a Leo female around you that is like high vibing, very tapped in, could be a reader. They get a lot of attention. They could have a platform or they could be in the public eye in some sort of way. Some somebody who's like really awakened, somebody who's like woke for sure with the high priestess and the hangman. That's somebody who's able to look at something from every angle. Like they look at situations. It's like this is somebody who's unbiased. You know what I'm saying? They could look at something and look at it from all aspects. But what does this person have to do with you? <laughs> well, this person could know high priestess. They know what's going on with you, Gemini. Yeah, page of pentacles, reverse. It's like somebody here just plays too many games. Like, yeah, somebody, it's like a high priestess around you who can know why you're stuck. They see the blockage with the Eight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles reverse. It's like they can see why you're stuck or why you're blocked or why you're self-sabotaging. And they, they made this high priestess may tell you what the fuck is going on or you watch their channel or some shit. Like this could be a sister or something, or a daughter, or a mother figure, or somebody, or a best friend. Why is the Eight of Swords here? And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Swords. There's the Gemini man with the King of Swords out here. I'm telling you, if you're a Gemini man, you got some whack ass homeboys for real. King of Swords and then the King of Wands reverse. Like, ew, you need new friends.
I told you, and this, the king is always going to be a cop, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a Gemini man out here that's a police officer. Why is the king of swords here? Yeah, or you could, this king of swords could be giving advice to his miserable ass homeboy with the nine of cups reverse and the three of cups. I mean, the nine of cups reverse and the three of pentacles reverse. Yeah, he could be giving advice to somebody about a third party or he could be telling his homeboy why something went wrong or some shit. And they're like, he ain't trying to hear that shit. And three of pentacles reverse and the nine of cups reverse. And like somebody's just miserable and arrogant. It's like they fucked something up for themselves. <laughs> Why is the nine of cups reverse? We got two of wands. That's a two of wands here. Yeah, ten of wands. Yeah, it's like... That's the ten of wands and the two of two of wands here. Eight of pentacles reverse. Yeah, it's like it's like you can't work on something. It's like somebody is definitely like doing the bare minimum with the eight of pentacles reverse. Just doing the bare minimum, not even trying to meet you halfway. Somebody's just like lazy as fuck. Just don't want to do the work on themselves. I was like they were forced. It's like something here got too heavy. It got too burdensome with the ten of wands. So it's like you just had to drop it and go on a different path. But this is like the Eight of Pentacles reverse, like moving on, but not working on yourself. It's like you're moving on because you ain't had no fucking choice. But at the same time, it's just like you're just moving on. You're not trying to do the work. You're not trying to heal. Like real shit. It's just like you're just trying to act like you're completely over something and move on because you don't have a choice. It's like you didn't want to willingly move on, but you just had to because somebody here was too fucking selfish and they could have put you in a third party with the three of pentacles and the three of cups here. It's like somebody was extremely selfish. It could have been a water sign, cancer prizes, or a Scorpio. Very arrogant, very smug, very selfish. This person could have a drinking problem or an addiction with the nine of cups reverse. It's just like you just you just couldn't put any more effort or energy into this shit with the eight of pentacles reverse. Mm -mm. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Somebody needs to do the inner healing work, the shadow work. Yeah, two of cups. Because see, there's going to be a connection that comes in once you start to do the work. Yeah, look at you. Queen of Swords. Look at you. Stand offish, getting straight to the point. Like, this is like, Queen of Swords energy is like, what can I help you with? Like, what are you doing with your life? Where, where do you see yourself in the next five years, five months? Like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like this is making somebody uncomfortable. Like, Queen of Swords energy, that's you, Gemini. And the King of Swords, there needs to be a serious conversation had or there is with somebody about like, okay, what, what are we doing here? I feel like you're trying to get to the facts. You're trying to get something straightened out or it's like you keep having a conversation with somebody about the same shit because you love this person too. It comes but like. There is no effort being put in. Like somebody here is literally doing the bare minimum. They're doing the least amount of whatever the fuck. Queen of Swords. Yeah, Hermit card. Somebody doesn't want to do the inner healing. Hermit card reverse. Somebody could be depressed. They need to go see a therapist. Some of you just could be a Virgo. Yeah, but somebody doesn't want to do the work. They'd rather do everything else but go within and work on themselves. It's like they seek outside of themselves for validation for everything. When it's the opposite, you need to go within. You need to do some soul searching so that you can grow, as so you can develop, so you can mature. It's like somebody doesn't want to do that out here. 
They just want you to accept them for who and what they are. Let them do the bare minimum and shut the fuck up. And I feel like, Gemini, you love this person, but it's just like you don't like their behavior. But it's like you cannot change this person, Gemini. You can't force them to do the work and you can't wait for them to change. Only thing you can do is move on and lose the attitude about it. Like, period. Card reverse. Yeah, somebody could party too much with the three of cups out here. Yeah, ace of swords reverse. Yeah, somebody is in denial that they need to work on themselves. Ace of swords reverse. Like I said, somebody could suffer from depression. Yeah, the devil reverse. So you just could be a Capricorn. Yeah, and I feel like you had to cut this person off. You had to. There was no other option. Like real shit. Or somebody had to cut you off. There's literally no other option. Because something here is just way too fucking toxic, way too dysfunctional. Nine of swords, but it's just like you can't sleep. It's like you stay up all night and you worry and you obsess. And this shit causes you anxiety with the nine of swords here, Gemini. Like, why is the nine of swords here? I feel like you'd be good during the day because during the day, I mean, you have other shit to do. You know, you have kids, you work out, cook, go to work, whatever it is that you do, your day-to-day -day activities is like a distraction from what this is. But when nighttime comes, it's just like you just stay up all night just thinking about this shit, having anxiety because the sword's energy is you. That's the nine of swords here. Somebody's like worried. Eight of Swords here because something is like backfiring. Something is slowing down. It's not making any progress. It's not moving forward. It's, it's just like there's a lack of progress in a relationship or reconciliation. It's like you're, you're just like trying to force something to work or you did and it just didn't work. Like Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, seven pentacles waiting, waiting for something to change. And it's just like it's not happening. Why is the seven of pentacles here? We have food card. Aries energy. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody's like stuck in the past. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo female that somebody has kids with. With the Six of Cups reverse. I feel like there was a bad breakup out here or something. It's just like somebody cannot get over this ending. They can't let go of how this breakup went down. How something ended, like if somebody just rubbed you the wrong way, left a bad taste in your mouth, and it's just like you're just not that optimistic about dating. Like real shit, why is the three of cups here? And it's like you're trying to pretend like you're okay. Yeah, moon card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of y'all could be still sneaking around with this person with the moon and the three of cups. Or somebody's like hiding a third party. It's like they could be hiding the fact that they're dating one of your friends. Because like I said, somebody, because this could be like people in the same social circle or social group with the three of cups. The moon card on top of that is somebody like hiding the fact that they're now dating somebody else or a friend or something like that. That's the moon card here. Because they know somebody's still mad at them about a breakup. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This is... Ooh, Gemini. Yeah, Eight of Cups. 
Reverse or yeah, somebody's like trying to hide the fact that they dated your friend for a quick second or they slept with one of your friends. You heard that? Period. It's like they're trying to hide it. They don't want you to know that that they messed around with one of your friends and shit. Eight of Cups, they want to come back. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like whatever it was, was just short-lived. Like, the Three of Cups and the Moon card, it's like they could have just got drunk one night and fucked around or fucked on each other. And it's like they don't want you to know that. They're trying to keep that hidden. Because y'all already had a bad fallout with the Six of Cups reverse. Or you had kids with this person. Okay, then, Gemini. Shit. Yeah, it's like, the, yeah, you already got an attitude. You're already irritated with this person. But I don't feel like you know the whole scoop. You don't have the whole tea about what this person was doing. I feel like you know about the third party, but you may not know, you may not know who the third party was with, or you may not know that the third party was with a friend or somebody in this social circle, somebody in this social group that you know. I feel like you're just irritated with this person in this situation. I feel like you're real defensive. You got your wall up. You hear that? You're defensive. You got your wall up. You're irritated with the nine of wands. It's like you're just tired of the same old shit. You're tired of having to be strong and having to persevere and all this type of shit. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something here just went left. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Something here did not. Something here did not turn out like you thought it was gonna turn out. Okay, this was just a lesson that needed to be learned. Or you feel like this person like turned your life upside down, or like they just I don't know they did something. Why is the Wheel of Wheel of Fortune reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like a failed marriage or it's like a relationship just went left out of nowhere. It's like an unfortunate turn of events. It's like you found out this person was cheating or putting you in a third party and shit just went left. Like real shit was a nasty breakup out here. Somebody just left a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. Somebody could just ghosted you with the Knight of Swords. And that's your card, Gemini. So it was you ghosting a motherfucker. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, this person could be rushing back in out of nowhere, trying to come out of the cold with you, or they need some type of help financially. But the five of swords is in reverse. This person's in some low vibrational energy. They think they can manipulate you, play mind games, one up you. Why is the two of pentacles reverse? the emperor this is a distorted masculine and this person doesn't have any money either some of you just could be aries like or this is like a baby daddy or like i said somebody that you were just dating that you feel like had potential but like this is somebody who abuses their power abuses their authority they want to be respected but they're a liar a cheater possibly narcissistic it's just like no yeah four swords i feel like you're healing from this person four swords you're like ignoring this person but it's still on your mind, though. I don't feel like you're completely healed from what this person did to you. So this could be your husband. You were married to this person or still are. Yeah, judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just feel like this was a bad decision. There, there needs to be some self-forgiveness here, too, Gemini. It's like you need to forgive yourself for, like, making the wrong decision and getting yourself involved with this person. Yeah, like the judgment here is like something you need to go through an awakening. Instead of being stuck on being hateful and revengeful towards this person or wa wanting them to pay for what they did or how they ruined this or something. Because the judgment is like not being self-aware of like what you're doing or how you're coming off and shit. Yeah, it's like even though you had to turn your back on this situation, it's like you're still not aware of like 
how this situation has affected you, how it's still affect, affecting you presently because the way you're coming off to other people that are interested in you is like not good. Why is the judgment reverse? Yeah, Queen of Wands, but I feel like you're fine this book for sure. So you are hella fine. You have fire in your chart. Yeah, because I feel like you're still showing up with this person, but this is like a karmic partner, somebody that was supposed to teach you a lesson. I feel like you did learn the lesson, but you're still mad at how it went down. Like, right, because you're showing up as the Queen of Swords upright and the Queen of Wands upright, but this person is showing up as the King of Swords reverse and the King of Wands reverse. So, yeah, they cheated, they lied, they manipulated, they were ignorant, they did whatever the fuck. But I feel like there needs to be forgiveness here, forgiveness of yourself. I mean, like, yeah, you look good as fuck, but it's the internal work that needs to be done. I just feel like you and this person are not on good terms. Yeah, look at that world card reverse. There is some type of unfinished business here. So for some of you, you definitely need to get divorced from this person or somebody needs to move out. Or just like you need to completely like close the door on this chapter. You need to, I feel like you, you're just not, I feel like Gemini, you're not accepting what has happened here. Like real shit. You feel like this person is steady lying and not telling you the whole truth about something, which could be right because the moon card is out here. But shit, you're already in this like pissy ass energy. So it's just like, you're not even ready to, you're not, like spirit is like, Gemini can't handle the rest of the secrets. Like, Gemini, you can't handle what else has been going on behind the scenes or whatever when it comes to this third-party shit because you're already pissed off. I'm saying you're already mad. If you find out what else is hidden about this third party or what else went on, you're probably never going to get over it. It's like spirit is like, I need to see you do the healing work before you get revealed the complete truth about what happened here. You need to be in a place of peace so that when the rest of this shit comes out or when the rest of it is revealed to you, it won't have no effect on you. It's like real shit. My God, something's like just bothering you. I saw. There's something here that's unfinished. Yeah, the start that healing. A star card reverse and a strength card. It's like you were forced to pull your energy back from this person, but you need to heal from what has happened. Like real shit. Yeah, four pentacles reverse. It's like you're just ignoring it. But ignoring it ain't going to make it go away. Acting like you don't see it isn't going to fix it. Yeah, the lovers on the bottom of the deck. This is you, Gemini. Yeah, King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you, this is this person in your reading is an earth sign. A Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It's like Six of Swords. Yeah, you were called to move on from this person. But it's just like this person is still up in your energy. Yeah, the Empress and the Emperor. I told you this is somebody that you were married to. The Empress and the Emperor. Or this is somebody that you were with for a long ass time. Y'all got kids together and shit. The Emperor and the Empress. The King of Wands. Up, I mean, the King of Wands in the reverse to the Queen of Wands upright. The King of Swords reverse to the Queen of Swords upright. That's you. The Empress reverse. Is like, I feel like being in this relationship for the Lord, your self esteem or something here. Yeah, this is just this not this not the couple goals that you think it is. Yeah, seven of wands. Something could have been embarrassing here. Yeah, somebody's just a sneak and a liar and a cheater. <sighs> yeah, Gemini, I'm gonna leave it here. But y'all need to do the fucking shadow work because I don't want to see this shit again when I come back, Gemini. Okay, all right. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.